I'm a master Katarina one trick and I'm going to give you tips and tricks I've learned through my years of playing using the games that I play. I'm going to go over a lot of important stuff so eventually you can start applying them to your games and climb as well. I do coaching, Patreon, YouTube members and run a second channel if y'all are interested. Everything's in the description below. So in this game you're gonna see a game where my early game was absolutely terrible but then eventually I was actually able to carry. This is gonna be a game where you feel like there's nothing you can do early game. Like there's, you had to give up so much, but then eventually if you just play solid around the mid game, you can come out with the win. This game I'm up against the Vladimir, obviously super annoying. This is around D3 MMR. I went into standard electrocute page because they have Massey, Vladimir, Kaisa, Aatrox. I can use electrocute to just try to burst them down. And my team also needed some AP. I thought electrocute was fine here. So Vladimir is a really annoying matchup. I can't really give too many good tips on Vladimir, but I do like going into Electrocute against him and going D Shield just because I can go for like trades, use Electrocute to still deal damage and go for short trades and try to make him like Q minions more so than me. Because if he's constantly able to Q you, then that's when you really start feeling the pressure. Now, League of Legends can be a pretty hard game to grasp, but no worries because we have Mobilytics. Mobilytics is a free app that gives you everything you need to know for your league games. You can find your statistics, see what you're good at, and where you need some serious help. You also have access to a lot of good information like builds, guides, and even combos. Now, challenger players are really good at the game because they can juggle a lot of information mentally. This allows them to make the best decisions in-game. Now, you can also do this using their in-game helper. You can check information on the players in game to set up a game plan going in. You can easily keep track of summoner spells with a simple click of a button, but the best part is the timers on the minimap. This is actually a game changer that'll help you be at the right place at the right time. These are all really useful and the best way to know how good these functions are is if you try it out yourself. Just click the link below, click download and you're ready to go. Thank you so much Mobilytics for sponsoring this video and helping the channel. Back to the video. So we start off the landing phase, pretty slow landing phase, not really much to talk about. He's just going to like push us in. We're just trying not to get queued. I think the big thing with Vladimir is that you don't want to get empowered queued. Now I think it's okay to take the queue there because I was next to my mage minions. So it's going to aggro onto Vlad. So you can see the health difference here. The thing is he gets to heal up anyway. I have Doran shield to heal up as well, so any kind of like cues I take level 1, as long as I'm near like mage minions, I'm okay to take. As long as it's not the empowered one, the empowered one hurts a lot. So here taking the autos is fine because the mage minions are going to hit the Vlad. And then I just heal up with my D shield. So it's level 2, I hit level 2. He does a pretty good job maneuvering around my daggers this game. But more so, I like focused on farming a lot this game. After Vladimir ended up getting a kill. So you'll see that later. But Wave's gonna push into us. He hits level 3. I want to go for trades at level 3 more so than level 2. But looking back, I felt like I did kind of play a little passive this game. Again, getting hit by Empowered Q kind of sucks. It heals him a lot, it does a lot of damage to me. And so here, this was like the first weird play because clearly I don't have priority. And Poppy goes for the invade and we know Vlad's around the top side, right? So then I'm watching Poppy here and I had to go. And I wasn't too sure about this invade just because I think we start off at a disadvantage with Vlad being Mia and me not having priority. I thought maybe this was a chance to get a kill, so then I ignite him before he gets the empowered Q. The auto's off. And I try to flash after him here to hopefully get the kill, but he actually had Nimbus Cloak. So, again, kind of sucks. He has Phase Rush, he has Nimbus Cloak, so like when he ghosts, when he uses Flash, he's going to get the little extra movement speed. So now at this point, I'm like, ugh, Vlad has double buffs. I can't really kill him anymore. He's just going to heal up. If he Qs me, I can't kill him. I kind of missed my chance to like kill him because Electrocute wasn't up. So I couldn't really pressure him there. So then now the lane's pretty bad, right? Vladimir has double buffs and now I got to play a little bit slow. 
But here, I see Poppy fighting for the scuttle. Just gonna push him off. Make sure we secure the scuttle. So it's really nice to go for plays when, you know, I have priority and when I can actually act first, right? So I kind of want more plays like those, but then that first play was kind of a little awkward for me. So I come back into lane. This way is going to push into me because it's towards flat, so I can just let it push into me. Right now I see Poppy and Yi maybe get into something, so I'm like hovering around the top side here. So I go. The thing is, I'm going to be able to react here first. So it's going to 2v1 before Aatrox and Vlad and Alistar actually come in here. Now here was really unfortunate because my Q actually got cancelled and I didn't know. So I had to jump out. So now, again, just all these little things just adding up, right? So Vlad gets a kill early. Now I'm low. He's level 6. I lost a couple minions. I'm level 5. I'm low health. Like, it's so bad. So now we just gotta like try to find a way to find it back again and just like not die to the Vlad. Poppy gets the drag here, Master Yi died to the Poppy, which is super good. So, yeah, I had no say in that, but luckily Vlad didn't roam down either, right? So, Vladimir's plan a lot of the times is to just like farm and scale. Farm and scale, that's how it goes with this matchup. And so if you try to like leave the lane, he will just stay mid and farm and eventually just like hard scale. So you gotta really keep that in mind right so we were able to survive even though we got chunked out in that play and we're able to come back full health and now with blasting one and Amtome, we might have a bit of damage to actually trade with the vlad so we come into lane here alistar's here and with alistar here i can't really get aggressive even though i feel like i can kind of trade but i'd prefer not to at this point vladimir is still really strong and so I gotta be careful. See, Alistar's still around, but also Master Yi and Poppy are sort of dancing around the river. So I'm gonna clear this really quick and then try to posture my way up there. But then Poppy's just going for the gank on the Aatrox. So nothing really happens there, but again, it's about just looking for these opportunities and still trying to be there as much as possible. It's really important to do that. Because if you're ever in a lane like this, or if you're in a position like this where like, there's not much you can do, you have to look for other means. Here I go for a trade actually. So actually a good trade there. So in this situation where Vladimir is like half health, he's gonna cue the wave more so. So he's gonna be less inclined to actually cue me. This I didn't see coming, but I just jump out so it's no problem. Harsh of this. I'm okay with Vladimir backing here. If he would just wants to back, that's completely fine. If Poppy is going to be hovering around the bot side, I'm just going to roam there. So this is another opening for me to go look for something. And we actually end up catching them here. So Poppy gets the kill on the Massey, so that's super good. And then we were able to get the kill on the, the Alistar. So I come back into lane. Massey gets a double kill, which is super bad. I'm just gonna farm this up here. And Vladimir, again, no, that's all this is all he does. He has Night Harvester now. So if he has Night Harvester, then he can just get like really big pokes on me. And I don't wanna take too much damage and have him completely control the lane. But yeah, there might be something here, so I, I go. I just go back and disengage. He's so fast with um, the Nimbus Cloak and the Ghost. It's actually insane. But as you can see, I'm like playing it really slow. I almost have to, right? Well, at least he, has, he doesn't have Ghost here. So we just farm to the best of our abilities. 
We have Nash's Tooth now, so we're definitely looking for this back, but we can't back yet. Since Vladimir is going to be constantly shoving in the waves as soon as it comes in, it gives us a very small timer for us to actually back. I go for a trade here and push at the same time. And then now that it's a cannon wave, I'm down to go back and get the Nash here. 124 CS to 98 could be a lot worse. So we have our Nasher's Tooth here. So I feel a little bit more confident actually fighting the Vlad just because I actually have a damage item now. But still, he still has the tools to like fight me very easily. But I still kind of like go for these trades because I know that it's like... I know I can actually start doing damage now with the Nashers. But evidently, it, it hasn't stuck. And because he has red buff, I probably shouldn't have even gone for those in the first place. Because there was really no point. But now potential opportunity here. I go down. Vladimir looks like he backed. So as soon as I shove out the wave, I go down. And I go right back once I feel like... You have to make the decision to either go back into lane or commit to the roam, right? So once you feel like the roam is fine and like the gank was good and they don't need you, then you just go back and catch this wave. Now I would love to just clear this wave here, but Vladimir just sits there and starts uh, autoing. So I don't know if I could have done anything there. I'm not sure if I should have. So Poppy's ganking top here, and I'm kind of hovering around. I saw the alley, and then as soon as I saw alley like walk up the river, I decided to go up as well. And then taking a look, Aatrox is pretty low. So I'm just going to go and flash in and try to burst him down here. So keep in mind that Vladimir is not here again. Boom. So... Great, we're we're making plays on the map. We're we're affecting the game at the moment. Early game it was pretty hard, but now we're able to actually start making moves. Vladimir has two items right now. He has Harvester and he has Cosmic Drive, so gotta be careful here. Now they do end up dropping the Rift bottom, and it's Master Yi and Kaisa. So I I walk up to try to maybe kill the Rift, but yeah, you can tell it ends up not working out. Me with the chilling smite, which I didn't, which I did not see coming, and then he flashes on me, so I end up dying. We lose our whole bot side, so that was a pretty bad mistake on my end. And during that time, our top lane's also losing. I think Vladimir gets a double here. Yeah, so looking pretty bad, right? Looking pretty bad. What can we do here? Well, we just spawned. I'm gonna, I'm still gonna try to look for whatever I can. His enemies can still make mistakes. I think that's what I almost have to bank on at this point. But also at the same time, it's very important to be at the right place at the right time. Uh, with the amount of gold that I have, I'm pretty behind in terms of the Vlad. I'm going to focus a lot on farming. And I'm also going to try to go to as much fights as I can. Because evidently the fights are what's going to win us the game. Not, not me farming, right? But it's important to find like a good balance of both. So if you see here, I farm mid lane, I go bot lane, I farm bot lane. So it's it's just me trying to kind of scrap for some gold and make sure that I can get my items so then I can, I can actually start playing the game. I mean, they're getting drag here, but there's not much we can do, but I'm still gonna group around the team here. Ali goes in here. And Ali has the Braum passive, so I'm like, this should be free. And then Vladimir pulls early, and then we kill the Vlad here. We trade Braum for the Vlad. Super, super good. I'm completely okay with this. So again, just looking for opportunities. And then we just go right back into farming. So you can kind of see like, there's a fight that happens, you go to it, and then you go back to farming, and then we're probably gonna look for the next fight, but then you're squeezing in farming in the middle of all that. So that's kind of how you get the gold at this point. So we're working into our protobelt here. 
I start walking up and there was a speculation that they were doing Baron, but I don't think so. I don't think they end up doing it, but they could have done it potentially. And Poppy actually makes a really good pick on the Aatrox. This Aatrox, I have no idea what he's doing. And so now we're here and we can do the Baron. We're all grouped up here. 4v5. Looks like a pretty solid fight here, not gonna lie. Vladimir is bottom right now, if you see on the map. Now here, generally around Baron, I don't like to take too much damage if I feel like there's gonna be a fight, so. I just try to take minimal damage. Massey comes in, he's gonna be the main focus in this fight. I'm gonna be able to push Kaista out, and I'm gonna go in on the Yi. Then we actually get the shutdown on the Yi, so that's super good. We're just going to disengage from there, get the Baron, and then now we see Vladimir bottom pushing in, so I got to go react. But the beauty is we actually got our Protobelt off of that shutdown, so... With Protobelt and Nasher's Tooth, I feel like I can actually do damage to this guy. Set up the Q. Boom. Boom. Now with Ghost and... Phase Rush, I was not expecting to kill him, but I definitely just wanted to push him out if anything. But luckily, Poppy was there to actually kill the Vlad, so it's super good. Now we see them getting wiped in the mid lane. It's fine. It happens. I'm just going to go and farm even more. So again, just getting more gold. And then we're going to go into Zanya's here just because I feel like it's really good into like the Yi and the Vlad. So we get our stopwatch and now we're coming back on the map and we're trying to look for something here. Now we have Ash Arrow, we have Poppy to engage, we have Braum. Braum and Cat is actually super good together because you could proc Braum passives with like all of your abilities. So we can potentially look for picks. Uh, we see Yi pushing bot, but I don't want to be bottom here. I don't think I should be bottom here. It should be Mundo. So I want to like sort of see what my team's up to here. I don't think I really need to push out the wave right now. So then I hover around my team here. And then this fight actually goes super well. We get a double kill. And so now with three of them dead, we can actually go and start pushing. So this is going to be really good. So one thing I want to note in this fight is that the way I approach it is a little different, right? So like we have Kaisa, we have Masa Yi, and we have Vlad that we have to kill. The main person I want dead is Master Yi. So I want to make sure my ulti goes on the Master Yi just to ensure that we kill him. And it also gives anti-heal, so it prevents Yi from like healing up in the team fight. So then here, once Kaisa gets CC'd, we just kill Kaisa with like our basic abilities. And then now with Yi coming in with the Vlad, I can go in and ult and make sure that the ult hits the Yi. So then here, ult, and then I just hold the ulti for the Yi. So it's important to know who your ulti should go on, and you should save it for those times. Because if I just ulted the Kai'Sa straight up, there's a there's a potential chance I couldn't have killed the Yi. But that's just to make sure that we guarantee win that fight. Because Yi is definitely a problem in this game. So we got the mid tower, and then now we're going into the Zanyas here. And we also have the stopwatch, so the stopwatch is going to be really good for the next upcoming fights. We can use it to cuck the Yi. And Dragon's coming up, so I'm super down to group around Dragon here and see what the next fight is. So then here we see Poppy just deep in there right now, but as long as she gets out, it's fine. And we're just looking for this next fight. Now we gotta wait for Engages to go in. We gotta wait for Braum, but also if we see someone out of place, like here, Aatrox gets queued, and I'm like, Cat Braum, really good combo here. And then we can continue to go. Now here, I saw Yi walk into this bush, so I sweep her. I just Zanya's right away. This way, it'll just cuck him. Because if Ash is hitting him at the same time, then we just like push him out of the fight. And we kill the Alistar. So now we're looking really solid here. We're looking really solid. As you can tell, like I'm going for a lot of safe plays and I'm making sure that I guarantee win these fights, right? Like I, I don't want to go in and make like the montage play because I feel like one mistake against the Vladimir and the Master Yi, and they can just like take that all the way. So you gotta really be careful. So we're going for the push while three of them are dead. Alistar and Vladimir are almost up. Poppy goes in, I try to follow up here, but Kaisa ends up ulting. I just jump out here. And then now I just want my team to fall back. 
because they're all coming up. Massey's up in 10. So I just want to back here. We don't want to like swing too many kills to like their carries. Especially Vladimir and Aatrox, they could be really annoying to deal with. So now we have the goal to get Sonya's and we can potentially look for something here. Poppy's like behind him right now, if you see on the mini map. And I'm like fresh and I have Zonya's and I have Flash. So I'm like kind of down. The thing is Poppy gets caught off here. And so Poppy ends up dying. So we have to just back up. And this is kind of bad timing because we have Baron coming up as well. So we have to be pretty careful here. Make sure that they don't do Baron. Now in this position, I feel like with Massey topside and we have Brahm and Ash here, I feel like I can go for something here. So this is like one of those tight little window openings that I could potentially go for. And even if like their bot lane is behind them, even if Aatrox is behind them, I'm not super worried. I think I can just like go in on the Vlad and see if I can test something. And if it doesn't work out, I just jump out, right? Or I just Zonya's and get away. So I try to look for something here. Aatrox is also on the bot side as well. I don't want to ulti here just because he has pool. And then we're actually able to at least kill the, uh, the Alistar here. Kaisa does a lot of damage, so Braum sadly ends up dying, but you know, we were at least able to get the alley here, so that wasn't too bad. I would say that was a pretty safe play to go for. Here, Ash ends up dying though, so it, it actually ends up being 2v1, a uh, 2 for 1. So ultimately it wasn't worth it, but I blame Kaisa for just being OP. So we backed, and this might be an angle for them to Baron. And so they're on Baron. We have Mundo, Poppy, and me walking in. And this kind of sucks because I don't have Zanyas here, but let's see what we can do. Here, Poppy steals a Baron, which is super good. And again, I'm still trying to focus the E here, so I make sure I ulti the E. Going on the Aatrox here. Try to avoid the Vlad damage. Try to go auto for auto with the Aatrox, but nope, that is not the play. <laughs> and I just die. But what's important is we got Baron. And as long as Poppy and Mundo stay alive, we're good. Mundo's actually pretty strong now. Poppy ends up dying to the, the Kai'Sa. Nice, Kai'Sa dies. Mundo is still whacking this Vladimir. So Mundo, well, even without MR, it's crazy. He's, he just like one v one the Vlad there. So overall good, we got one Baron buff, which is our Mundo. Now Dragon's gonna be up soon. And so I'm kind of hovering around. We see Alistar warding. And I don't know who's behind him. So I just kind of like left it. We don't know where he is. And then, so I, I didn't really go for it. Now we see here, Yi and Vladimir are bottom trying to go for the Mundo. And now when Alistar walks up here, that's when I go in. Now Kai'Sa just missed her W. So in this time, if Alistar walks up while Kai'Sa W is down, we can just like try to look for the pick here. So another tight little window opening that we could look for to try to pick up certain advantages. So we end up Killing the, the alley here and Mundo actually ends up living. So it's like so good for us. Now we can collapse down here. So we know Kaisa's around the mid lane. Aatrox is topside. Mundo's going to back for the Aatrox. Go in, make sure he dies with the ignite. We're looking good. Aatrox does end up taking a top tower, but we end up getting dragon return. And we also gotta kill on Yi, so this is all gonna add up for us uh when it comes to like finishing our items so here we get the drag and with Yi down we're actually pretty strong and i'm looking to farm up my shadow flame here and we have brom here as well i'm like i might be able to look for something here but we saw ali in the back so maybe not now here aatrox gets aggressive and i didn't think this was a fight i got kaisa w2 so i gotta be a little careful here we ended up getting a pick on the Aatrox, so this is also pretty good. Now, with that KS, I can actually get the Shadow Flame. So now with Shadow Flame, I'm gonna see what I can do on the map. Now, Shadow Flame is really good because of the pen that you get. And so if they don't have a certain amount of MR, Shadow Flame is super good for like bursting people down. 
So I would definitely recommend it, especially for building a like fourth item. It's pretty good. Now I'm hovering around the mid lane here and we're going to push this out and try to move in with our team. We can move in like mid top side here because we saw Vladimir top side. We saw Kaisa here, Poppy getting collapsed on, super down to fight this. Kaisa is going to be pushing out mid lane. Messi ends up dying to the Mundo, super good. We're going to set up and then boom. We kill them both. So now we're in such a good spot. So then we're going to start pushing into the tower here. And uh, Kais is just Wing all day. Super annoying. I got to make sure I don't get hit by too many here. And then I get hit by two and all of a sudden I'm just out. I'm just out of the fight. But we got the inib. That's all that matters. And we're just trying to get out from here. And we're just going to look for the next opportunity. Wall hop just to be safe. Vladimir decides to go in. And I'm kind of like down to join the fight, but I got to really be careful of Kaisa. And Kaisa ends up flashing and then we end up killing the Vlad here, which is super good. So we're going to be able to use that. Try to go for something here. I think I would have killed her if she didn't ult. But this was also kind of troll because I think the pick would have been really nice. But then if Kaisa had ult, I don't think she ever dies there. So then now I don't have Zanyas for this next fight, so... You have to be careful when going for stuff like that. Now with our last item, we're going to start going into Death Cap. No Void Staff. Um, I like going into at least one pen item. Uh, if they have enough MR, I would definitely go for Void Staff here over the Shadow Flame, but they don't. So we go into Shadow Flame here and we actually end up getting a pick on the Yi, which is super good. Now we can get the Baron off this and now we can look for like the, the game ending play. So here Poppy try to go for something and then she actually ends up dying. She goes in, tries to force the fights. I think we could have waited for our top inib to like push in and stuff. I didn't I didn't think we needed to rush that at all. But ooh, we ended up baiting the Vlad ulti, which is good. But I, I know I'm super strong right now. I'm like kind of down to see what I can set up here. So I set up the Q on the Vlad. And then once he walks in, boom, the power of electric Q, guys. Again, just super good for making picks. And with Vladimir dead, we can actually start pushing in now. So really solid pick here, which gave us another inhibitor. And now we can look to reset and then just look for the next push. And with both their nibs down, this is going to be a no brainer. We just go bottom and we also have dragon coming up as well. So we're walking back and Ash is actually getting caught here. I think they try to make a pick before drag. And I think it was a pretty good pick to go for it considering they kind of needed to go for something here but then here they catch up that side and i see kaisa throwing w's on the side i'm like no it's so annoying i'm gonna kill her i flash and everything so we're just gonna burst her down real quick and then we're gonna go for the vlad here kill him and go for the end so this game was just a really good representation of you trying to like, of me trying to play as like safe and making the best decisions I possibly could to make sure that we come out on these fights and these trades. So remember that it's really good to learn from situations like these and to make sure that if you want to secure wins, even though like you're losing early, as long as you make really good decisions by like mid game, you can potentially just win.